All right. Hello, everybody. Know it all DM here. And I want to welcome you guys to season two of Imperion Galactic Survival. I will be starting this on Akua. I randomized the seed, and oddly enough, it gave me a three digit seed. Um. I've got the escape pod content set to easy so we get a quick start. Uh, the player progression is slow because, well, it takes like no time at all to get levels. So I figured I'd slow it down a little bit so we can take it slow to start with. However, the constructor speed and blueprint speed are set to fast so we don't have to wait for things to craft a whole lot longer. Um, I've got the ore deposits and number of deposits set to normal. And then all the enemy difficulties, the drone presence, drone base attack, NPC spawn rate, and enemy difficulty are all set to hard. Uh, that way it's a lot more interesting and you'll see me die a lot more often. Um, but in any case, let's go ahead and start the show. planet I've got some ore deposits right here uh, there's water out over there and that looks like a base over there I don't know if it's one of the Titan bases or what um, it doesn't look I think that could be the abandoned mine right there that would be nice because um, I do want to take over the abandoned mine as my home again Oh, look at, look at the, uh, escape pod. It's, it's blinking. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Okay, so, landing on Akua. Alright, and we've got a crashed escape pod here. Let's gather everything we can. Uh, gun first, that there. Uh, let's move this down to here. Uh, everything else is... Oh, let's put this down here. Alright. Now, I'm going to follow the uh, introduction thing because some of you may just have started watching. Uh, you may notice that I took the shadows off to improve the FPS. So... Um, it's, you're going to get better FPS, but there's not going to be any shadows, which is fine with me. Alright, first things first. I need to find some water. Quickest way to water is over here. Over there is where I saw that POI, so I'm going to come this direction. And try to get near water. Uh, helmet off, that way I don't die. Jetpack on. The reason I want to get to water is because I uh, there's seaweed in the water and you can use that for fuel for your chainsaw and the drill um, that's a plant I haven't seen before or have I seen it before I don't think I've seen it before oh it's a tree in a plant that's why ha okay it's a tree in a fern I don't like these light shafts I wish I could take the light shafts off but I can't Let's just gather up all the stuff we can find as we go. Alright, it looks like... Actually, right in here would, wouldn't be a bad place to build. It's defended and everything. But, there's no water in here. So, let's see. Water... The best place for water, is, like I said, is this direction. So... Let's see if there's an easier slope to get over. Uh... Let me do this real quick, okay? I'm going to start, place this. I'm going to put the motorbike and that in. Start that, and then that. And that gets rid of the first couple of, uh, th of things. Let's turn these hints off because I don't need hints. These always turn back on. I don't like it. I've disabled it a hundred times. They need to have this where you can just permanently turn it off forever. But, 
you can't. So anyway, uh, all right, we've got those, that, and this. Let's pick this up. Uh, as you may have noticed just a second ago is uh, when I, what I did, this is the output which they added to all the constructors and the food processor. So you put all your input items here, it crafts it up here, and then the output items are placed here. And there's plenty of room for output items. So you don't have to worry about, uh, about the output items clogging up your inventory and getting lost while you are trying to craft other things. All right. And ow. I need to go this way. They changed the lights on the uh, motorbike I see. Alright. Okay, over to here is just fine. Alright, let's pick up the motorbike and come on over to here. The water looks pretty cool. Can't really see too well under under there, but it, it looks different. It looks clearer, I suppose, with a little bit of blueness stuff. I don't know if it's supposed to do like that, but whatever. All right, let's go ahead and uh, set this here. Let's put the oxygen generator right there and I just need to put one of these in there because I am not going to need any more than one next find edible plants where I found several already uh, there's one right there edible plant and now medical plant there's some aloe right over here should count as a medical plant all right, consume an item. I am getting a little hungry. Let's just eat a corn dog. Yay. All right, kill and loot a creature. It says animal, but there are plant creatures as well, which I don't know if plant creatures count. I don't think they do because they don't give you meat. It has to be something that gives you meat because the next thing is, well, make a salami. Um, there's dinosaurs over there, raptor herd, but I don't want to fight a raptor herd because the raptor herd will annihilate me. Actually, it won't. It'll just take forever for me to kill. How many are there? Are there three? If there's only three, I can take them. There are only three. Okay, so what I'm going to need to do, I've got plenty of ammunition, but... And jump back while reloading. All right, and jump back while reloading. And this is how you fight raptors. When they're in a pack. Looted. Looted. And you'll notice the textures and everything look a whole lot different. I mean, these rafters look a lot nastier and more realistic-ish. Um, but, uh, okay, so there are icons on the map that have recently changed. Uh, you'll notice the oxygen generator and survival constructor icons have changed. They actually put one for the O2 generator and the survival constructor they changed the icon. Uh, it's a little bit smaller. Um, it says create a steak or salami. Salamis last longer so I'm gonna do seven of these. Alright, what is next? I'm surprised there's no drones around. Uh, next is an assault rifle. I need to be level three to get the assault rifle. 
Wow, you can't actually see the icons too well before you learn them. That's interesting. Um, so I need to be level 3 to get the assault rifle. I am just level 2, which means I need to start gathering things for my base. Okay, there are the salamis. Um, for now, I'm going to store... Let's see. All this stuff is crafting supplies. I don't really need to store anything else right now because I will be fine. I'm just going to go gather some wood real quick because the base that I'm going to start with is going to be made out of wood. Unless, of course, that is the abandoned mine over there that I saw up here, in which case I will probably try to go take it as soon as I can. Um, but a small wooden base would be nice to start with. Um, I do need to be warned, however, there are drones that will come once I put my base down, so I need to have my base fully ready and defended, or defendable, once I get it down. Which, of course, will be after I have an assault rifle, so that'll be fine. I did not mean to reload that. I just wasted fuel by reloading this. Which is why I'm glad I'm near water because there should be a. Uh, uh, whatchamacallit, seaweed inside the water. I need to go check that momentarily. Alright, one thing that I can do to get XP quicker. Let me activate single player mission delicious eating delicious green eating Akua, which gives me XP and stuff for gathering not the fiber, but I need fiber anyway. Uh, gathering the food items on Akua. So let's come and get some honey. Uh, just gonna get more berries. That was not supposed to disappear. Um, let's see, I need corn dogs and textured proteins. I know there are some on my way back over here. I know I saw some corn dogs somewhere, probably up this direction. Let's grab some fiber while I'm out here. Alright, there's the textured plant proteins and corn dogs. Oh, I already grabbed that one. Okay. Corn dogs right here. Texture plant protein right up here. There's some lizard mules. All right, got all that. Now I'm not on Omicron, so I can't do the Omicron thing. Uh, but I can. Let's see. That's easier done with uh, the assault rifle. Because I can't really take out a uh, lizard mule too well with this little pop gun. Also, I'm going to have to find the slime and all that. So, But I'm going to leave... Let's see. Uh, Alright, let's go back to the tutorial here. Uh, craft an assault rifle. I'm not even anywhere near... And, of course, now I've got gold coins I can't do anything with because I don't have an ATM to put them in. Uh, which, uh, that's another update with the Alpha 4, is that they uh, made it so that you need an ATM to turn coins into uh, credits. <clears throat> so, alright. Let's see, what can I craft up? Uh, I can go ahead and craft up the metal components and electronics that I'm going to need for the gun. I can put this in here, turn that into planks, and then 
Artificial mass. Oh yeah, because I uh, structures and things require mass now. Uh, and then that will craft up because in here it says show center of mass and then when you look at a thing you'll see the center of mass if it's not in the center then well you your ship might tilt while on a planet so that's where the artificial mass thing is going to come in um okay i need to start searching for things while i am All right, it's unlikely that drones will come by and attack my uh, thing because I don't think I'm in the patrol area of any random drones. So, let's go exploring and see if I can find... There's an iron deposit. Good. I'm going to need that. really coming over here to try to check out and see what that POI is. It's an Epsilon Outpost. Okay. So it's not the abandoned mine, it's an Epsilon Outpost. I don't want to get too close to that. Let's see, can I get to this iron deposit without getting blasted? Yeah, the iron deposit's on this side of the hill, which is great. Okay, let's not get too close to that. Let's head the other direction and see what we've got that way. Whoa! A little too wonky there. Alright, this is that's the way I came from originally my things are over here all right so let's just head this direction to the other side of the uh, lake area and see what we've got over here Copper deposit. Anything else over here? Silicon deposit over there. This actually wouldn't be a bad place right here to go ahead and build the house. It's a little far from the iron deposit, but... Let's see, what's up in here? Nothing. Which is not bad. Let's go see if I can take a look at this lake that's over here, see what it is like. Ah. Alright, up top. Ah, MS Titan back part. Very nice. Good for scavenging. So, let's see. Um, since I'm coming over here, let's do single player, uh, custom tours. Uh, that is Titan Wreck. Find one part of the Titan Wreck. Activate. There's a single drone there, which I should be able to take care of. Helmet on.
craft underwater. All right, now I'm level three, so I should be able to learn the assault rifle. While I'm over here, I'm going to go ahead and take a look at the uh, Titan wreck. What is that? There's something I haven't seen before under here. Or it looks different because of the new... Okay, yeah, that's just a blue crystal. Okay. It just looks different. Alright. The reason I'm going underwater is so that that drone won't come after me. Oh, they changed the color of these. These are now sort of reddish green instead of just green. That's cool. You hear that heartbeat? That's because my stamina is running out. Successfully completed Titan Wreck Akua. If I could just get up a little closer. If I can get it to... Okay. Hey, Drone, look at me, look at me. No, 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 no. You're not in range. Okay, now you're in range. Whoa. I fell into here. Okay, since I'm attacking this, let's go Drone Hunter. That way when I actually take it out... I get some credit thing for it. Yay! All right, and all I got was ammo. Well, that's not too bad. Now, I'm just going to loot what I can grab out from here. I'm not going to, like, I don't have a disassemble tool or anything. So, I'm going to just come over here and see what goodies I can grab, like so. And let's see, let's put the drill over here, uh, where are the plant proteins? I know you're here somewhere, there you are. Using these instead of my med kits to heal with, and then gonna get rid of these for food. Alright, I should be able to get at least a little bit more. Oh. A little bit more stuff. I can't get in that way. Here we go. A little bit more stuff from over here. Uh, those are raw ores. Let's see. Raw ores are nice. Uh, neodymium is definitely nice. And magnesium. 
those are the primary things I'm going to need. Uh, all right, let's get back to... Okay, so you've got small blocks and big blocks. Very nice. Um, let's see. Under weapons, I've already got the assault rifle. Tools, I'm going to need a multi-tool. Uh, and then cargo box. Under base... The first thing I'm going to need is a refrigerator, a cannon turret, and an ammo box. So I've got that all taken care of. Um, let's see if I can get out without that drone aggroing on me. Alright, let's go this way and you can see the blue glowing crystals underneath the water now which is really cool oh there's another drone coming wonder if I can take that one out I'm not even gonna try I'm just gonna let's uh, put the motorbike there and I'm just gonna try to outrun that drone, can he see me under here or are you just going to keep on flying? That's right, Mr. Drone, just keep on flying. Uh, he came to replenish the drone that I took out near the uh, Titan base there. Which is fine, I'll just take him out when I come back to get the rest of the stuff. All right, Mr. Drone, you can just go away. You, you're, you're, yes, that's right. You just go away. And I am going the correct direction, yes. Once I get over that hill, I'll be golden. All right. The drone coming after me. I don't even see him on my radar. All right, up the hill. All right, let's do this. And up this way. over the hill. Alright, let's just put you down and finish off my circle around the lake by going not into the water! No! That always happens. Alright, come on, let's get out here. Apparently the motorbike can't work underwater, but it can work in a vacuum because it works on the moon. I don't know. Alright, I'm just going to stop and pick you up right here and then head over. This direction. Because my thing should be right over here. Right there we are. Okay. So now, let's reactivate the tutorial. Alright. Uh, go ahead and make this. And then... 
put all these in here. Anything else? Uh, I think that is the basics of it. All right, so I need, let's see, I need to make Ten of those that'll give me a hundred metal pieces and they need five a piece so a hundred metal pieces is 20 of these magnesium powder is two which means I need 40 magnesium powder perfect okay wondering if it will use these instead of those it probably will it'll probably use the output items let's see um, see metal components it says one yeah it definitely does because I uh, because it used it to make the assault rifle that I have right here okay and once that's done, it should just start making bullets. All right. All right, well, this is making up bullets. Um, that's going to be it for this episode. Um, I know I didn't get a whole lot done, but I, I mean, well, we did go to the Titan. We did explore the area. Um, I found a whole lot of useful items here. Uh, found the Epsilon outpost up here, and I uh, got all that started. Uh, next episode, we're going to just start making a base. Um, I'm going to quickly do that pick up ore thing, and uh, then we're going to go start making a base. Uh, this season, I'm going to try not to do anything off camera. However, when it comes to actual mining, um, I might, you know, take you to the mine, start mining, and then I... Uh, and then, uh, you know, cut through the mining part, and then, actually, I might just speed up through the mining, but I, uh, and then I'll uh, continue from there. But I'm going to try to do absolutely nothing off camera. Um, also, I'm planning on using no blueprints and building everything from scratch. So, we're going to start completely fresh. I... Uh, and we're going to start by building a hover vessel after we get our house made. Um, so that's stuff to look forward to in the future. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, Season 2, Episode 1 of Imperion Galactic Survival. If you did enjoy it, hit that like button for me. And if you want to see more Imperion Galactic Survival, go ahead and subscribe. I'm Know-It-All DM, and as always, y'all have a good day now.